It is a lovely spring day, so that means it's time to administer the spring wormers. So we need to follow a general worming plan to target key parasites at certain times of the year in adult horses. So springtime wormers are administered around March and April time. You have to test for tapeworm during this time. You can do a simple saliva test to see if your horse requires treatment for tapeworm and it's really important to minimise giving your horse medication unnecessarily as this reduces the risk of a worm resistance developing which then makes treatment a lot less effective in the future. And you target tapeworm with a product that contains prosequantel or use an elevated dose of Perantel. Stronky P has an elevated dose of Perantel. If your horse needs worming for roundworm too, then combination wormer is ideal, such as Equivalent Duo, Neuropras or Equimax, which is what I've used today. They're single dose combination wormers containing Prosequantel. So this is my mare Hope and I'm going to show you how to measure the weight of her using one of these weight tapes. So you come to the one end and it says to measure from here. You have to measure from the with us but you don't come down here. You come down on a diagonal so it's just behind the elbow. So we put this over the top like that, grab it underneath, so I can reach it, and then you pull it from there diagonally, so just behind the leg there, and you have to pull it quite tight, okay, like that, and it's saying that she is 455 kilograms, one tube of this wormer will worm a horse up to 700 kilograms. So Hope has to have a 500 kilogram measure and Baby Dream has a 200 kilogram measure. So that's two ponies completely wormed with only one full tube of wormer. And I come to the side, pop it in a mouth and squeeze. And then I hold her head up and just rub under here so that she doesn't spit it back out. Good girl, you're a good girl. So next up is the old man. Toby's a 14-2 Pinto pony and he's 44 years old. Although Toby is the same size as Hope, he's a lot thinner because of his age and because of his conformation. And same as before, but Toby does tend to spit this out. So we do have to be quite careful. So into the side of the mouth, just where the bit would go. Here it goes. And this is an dome. Rub under here. Has to be quite a quick operation. Oh, cool. Oh dear, it's gone. It's finished. Let's let you be free. Oh my word, did you see how quick he ran out of there then? He's always hated warmers. I've tried so many things over the years, putting it in his feed, putting it in syrup, but all that means is he's just not going to eat it, so that is the best way to give it to him. So Dream is 191 kilograms, so I'm just going to spin this little dial down to the 200 mark. So this is the first time that Dream's ever had an oral worman. So this should be fun. Just put it in his mouth. He's very food orientated. Squeeze. And it's in. Then lift the head. Oh. Lift the head and just rub under here. Just rub under the throat, if you can see that. Good boy. Part of the grand work that I do with Dream includes putting my finger into the sides of his mouth. So he gets used to things like this happening to him and also in the future when he will eventually be bitted he'll already be used to having things 
in his mouth and around his teeth. That also really helps with things like veterinary visits, visits from the dentist and any oral examination he may have to have in the future. So if you've found this video useful, why not give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you can follow our channel.